So get your strap for today and have it nearby. But we will do our warm-ups first. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, core activated, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, in mountain pose. And just ankles, knees, hips, shoulders stacked up and get those feet evenly supporting you. Take a moment to focus on the breath, drawing it in, energy and awareness, and releasing stress and tension. And then as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, keeping your shoulders down. Hands to your heart, elbows back. And then inhale to the front, keeping your shoulders still down. And exhale your hands behind you. Clasp the fingers, press them to the floor, lift your heart, stretch your head back. So a nice back bend, especially in the upper back. And then pivot at your hips, exhale, and round forward into that pivot. Spread your toes out, lift your hands, and move your chin, gain your neck a little bit more released. Slightly bend your knees, start at the bottom of your spine, work your way back up. And again, back bending, lifting the heart, getting those shoulders down, spreading your toes, and breathing into a little upper body back bend. Inhaling, come up, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling the circulation beginning to increase just a bit. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale into that clasp behind you, opposite finger on the outside. And again, lift your heart, stretching into the back bend, and pivot over. Take a moment and breathe there. And again, just lifting your sitting bones, relaxing. Tuck your chin maybe a little more. Get the whole back of your body in a stretch. And then once more, slight bend to your knees as you roll back from the bottom of the spine to the back bend. And lift your heart. Spread your toes. Stretch out through the top of your head. Inhaling, come up, releasing into mountain pose. And again, just take a moment noticing what your body is telling you. And we'll do our side stretches. So let's keep one arm down, the other one out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push your hands away, exhale, and lean to the side. Take a breath or two there, stretching out through your fingertips and head. Let the hands slide down your leg and push into the opposite foot. And then inhale back upright, exhale and release. Feel the difference on the two sides, noticing that yoga internal observation. And the other arm comes out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Again, pushing away, keep facing the front as you again lean to the opposite side. Push the foot down, reach out through your head and hands, feel the ribs stretch, and make sure that you're not twisting or leaning. And then again, inhale, back to the top, and release. Shoulders back and down, everything stacked. Stretch your spine apart for our twist next. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Spread your toes, stretch up, and exhale to either side, and twist. Lengthen up on the breath in, exhale, pivot over. And just go as deeply as you'd like into your forward position, keeping the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Take a moment and breathe, just relaxing, shoulders toward your waist. And then inhaling, work your way back up, Lift your heart and drop your shoulders. And again, upper body back bend when you're twisted. Always remembering not to overdo, especially in that lower back. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Switch your arms around. And again, stretch the spine apart. Exhale and turn the other way. Spread your toes, stretch up. And in the twist, exhale over. And again, keep the weight on both feet. Keep your arms by your ears. Lift your sitting bones and just deepen as much as you look. Inhaling, work your way again up. 
And lifting your heart, pull your shoulders down and your elbows back, coming into that upper body back bending one more time. And inhale, upright, exhale, round to the center, shoulders down, fingertips toward the ceiling. Get your extended mountain reaching up through the head and the fingers, evenly sinking into the base of the toes, balls of the foot, and the heels. Feel those sitting bones and shoulder blades going toward the floor. Feel that stability in your stretch. And then palms turning out, come to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, lead with your heart, and come into that halfway down position. Stretch everything straight, and then drop into ragdoll, just hang. Take a moment, breathing, exhaling any tightness. Bring your hands behind your legs for extra stretch on the back if you want to. And then arms back down. And just let them hang once more as you wind from the bottom of the spine back into mountain pose. As you get into mountain pose one more time, just take a moment feeling that spine activated. And we'll start with our balance and warm up. So get the base of the toes connected right across the ball of the foot, lifting the toes. Spread the toes out on that balanced foot. Make sure you don't grip and the heel goes down. So the arch is lifting, the whole bottom of the foot connected, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. Core active to support your spine and shoulders back and down. Crown to the ceiling. And when you're ready, lift the other foot a little or more or toward your heart. Make sure it's not crossing over, so you may need to roll the top of the thigh in to make sure that that foot stays straight down. And when you're stable, work your ankle both ways. And before you release, straighten it out, flexing and pointing, and put it down. Shift to the other side. And again, spread the toes, no gripping. Everything stable and supporting all the way up ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder. Shoulders relaxing, core activated. Make sure that spine is supported before you lift your other foot. And again, bring it as high as it wants to go. Find your stability. And when you're good, circle that ankle both ways. And again, when you're ready, flex and point it to straighten things out as you put it back to the floor. And then get your strap. So we're going to do a balance practice with our strap. So put your base of the toe, ball of the foot area on the strap and hold it just gently with your hands. And again, get your other balanced foot out, spreading toes, getting the base of the toes connected, the heel connected, everything lined up on your balanced foot. And then bending your knee, bring the foot up, and then bring it up a little more. And if you can, straighten the leg out. Just stay there a moment, breathing, pushing the Base of the toes, ball of the foot area into your strap and heel pushing out. Take a moment to breathe, find your stability. And then either bend the knee again or bring it down straight back to the floor. So we can try that on the other side. And again, bring the ball of the foot area, base of the toes into the strap. Get everything aligned and straight on the other side. Keep that core activated. You want to make sure you're supporting your spine and sitting bone, shoulder blades always. Yeah, toward your waist. And again, when you're stable, bring that other foot up, bending the knee or keeping it straight as you bring it out in front of you. And just gently pulling back with the strap on the ball of the foot area and pressing out through the heel. Ground to the ceiling, keep breathing. Adjust what you need to, whenever you need to. Take another breath. And slowly bring the leg down, either straight or bending the knee first. And bring the hands 
stretched into your hands, a little wider than shoulder level. And then we're going to stretch that strap out and bring the hands up toward the ceiling and rotate the hands back as far as they want to go behind you. And then bring them back up and around and to the front. Release and relax your shoulders a moment. And then again, straightening those, the strap, pulling those hands out. And to the front, toward the ceiling, toward the back. You can go just a little way, or you can go further if that works for your shoulders, or you can go all the way down if that happens to be okay for your body. So remember, personal practice, bringing the hands up, around to the front, and back down. Take a breath, and again, Check your feet, mountain pose. You can put the strap aside again. We don't need it quite yet. And shoulders relaxing back and down. Hands to your heart. Look at them coming up toward the ceiling as you inhale. Keep looking at the thumbs, pulling them back. Keep the hips over your ankles and let your whole body lift through the heart. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot up your hips. Exhale into your rag doll. Hands sliding up on your shins, under your knees, and stretch and straighten ankles, or knees, elbows, and spine straight. Stretch it out. Exhale, drop your hands, and oh, go ahead and bend your knees and come to the floor so that we can sink into our child pose transition. Hips toward your heels, head down toward the floor, chest relaxing, exhaling any tension. Shoulders releasing, and breath full and deep, as much as you can. And then inhaling, let's slide off and bring our legs out to the front into staff position. Sitting bones behind you, get some padding if you need to. And we're going to warm up the hips a little bit before we use our strap once more. So bring your right foot up to your left side or the opposite, whichever you do first. Knee coming down toward the floor, checking out how that hip is doing today. And just let it go where it likes to go and let it relax. You can add weight but not pressure with your hand if you want to encourage it a little bit more into that position. Or you can bring this front leg over to the side and that also releases the hip a little bit more. So make your choice, do what's right for your body, just relax because remember, we want to let those muscles release. We don't want them to tighten up. So just allow things to happen, don't force it. Exhale any tension. And as always, you can bring your foot and knee into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull that leg in closer for your rotation. So side to side movement, getting that hip a little bit more warmed up. As always, you'll feel it in that outside of the hip a little bit. If it's, if it's not bothering you, you can bring the foot higher or closer and get a little bit more intensity in that work for your hip. And then as you exhale, release that. Check what's different now on the two sides because they will be different. And notice again, if your core is correctly supporting you, if those sitting bones are still slightly behind you and the crown reaching toward the ceiling with the shoulders relaxed and bring the other foot up. And again, notice if this side feels tighter or easier or whatever's going on on this side for you. Hands on the leg, but not pressing if you want, or just leave the leg doing its own thing, or bring the leg in front over to the side. But remember, keep your knees and toes up, whichever position your leg is in. And just allow this to release and relax through the hip once more as you exhale any tension. And when you're ready to go side to side, bring that leg into your hands or arms and move it back and forth. 
stay there at that level or make it more intense if you love it or don't because yoga is always a personal practice. And again, exhale and release. Feel the sides of your legs and hips. And then bring your strap into your hand and again, put it around the ball of the foot area, base of the toes, and keep those toes spreading out. Straighten your legs, sitting bones behind you, crown toward the ceiling, core activated. We're just gonna keep pulling on the ball of the foot as we lift that leg toward the ceiling. So keep it as straight as you can. Keep the shoulders as relaxed as you can. So not a lot of pressure in your arms and shoulders as you lift that leg and just keep pulling back gently on that foot. Take a breath, exhale any tension. And then if it feels okay, bring the leg out toward the side as you pull on the toes, or the base of the toes. Take a breath, just go as far as you'd like, feeling what's going on in your leg, and then back to the center, and pushing out through the heel as you lower the leg, release it to the floor, and release your strap. Feel that side a little different still from the other. So once again, put the strap around the ball of the foot on the opposite foot. And again, keep pushing out through the heel and just gently pulling back on those toes. Kneecap is toward the thigh, tightening the front of the thigh to keep the back of the leg straight as you bring that foot up toward the ceiling as far as it wants to go. And again, Back is still straight, core is still supporting you. Shoulders are relaxed as much as you can. Take a breath, exhale, and if it's feeling comfortable on this side, bring that leg slightly out to the side. And again, knee and toes are up on that extended to the front leg, crown toward the ceiling, everything open to the front. Take a breath, exhale, just relaxing. Leg going as far out toward that side as it wants. And then rotate it back to the center. Keep the heel flexed as you lower the leg. And when it gets down, once again, release that strap, but keep it near you because we're still going to use it again. Bring your feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones behind you, core supporting as you exhale all the way to the floor. As you get it down, just take a moment to breathe. Keep that strap near you and release your shoulders toward the floor. Sitting bones toward your heels. Bend your knees. Draw the heels up toward your sitting bones. Press the back gently down, core activated. And then bring your knees up toward your heart as you feel appropriate for you. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale and release. Bring your feet to the floor and slide them out. Take a moment feeling your body and we're going to use the right leg first. So once again, sitting on slightly toward your heel, back pressing down, bend the right leg, bring the knee in toward your heart. Pull it in. Hold the knee and the ankle and turn the knee slightly out toward the side giving that hip a little bit more movement in it. And then bring the knee back in toward your heart. Take your strap, put it around the ball of the foot, base of the toe area again, and straighten that leg, bring it up toward the ceiling. The other leg can stay straight with the hip going down and the back of the leg along the floor and the toes up toward the ceiling. Or you could bend that knee if you want a little bit easier or for your body. And again, pulling just gently on the ball and the base of the toe area. Straighten your knee as much as it's comfortable, letting that hamstring get a nice stretch. And just move the leg toward your head as much as it wants to go. So if you're really flexible, you may get it way up toward your head. That's okay. If you're not, you may have it just put way up and allow it to be where it needs to be for your body. Take a breath, just relax. 
I'm going to put the strap in the same hand as that leg and bring the other arm out to the side and let that leg come over toward the side, side of the foot going toward the floor. It may never make it to the floor. That's perfectly okay. Just have it go as far as it wants to go and then breathe and relax. So your may, leg may stay up in the air. That's why we got the strap because we don't want the leg to be feeling like, oh my gosh, it's going to overdo. So just let it go where it needs to go. Exhale and release any tension. Just let it sink. As you breathe and relax and let it happen, it may go closer to the floor, or it may not. It's always personal practice. Keep this other hip down as much as you can, keeping that hip area nice and open. Take a breath. As you exhale, it may go deeper or it may not. Just let it do what its thing is. And again, breathing. Inhale, bring that leg back straight up. And of course, you can hold this on your own longer, but we never have time to do that. Switch your strap to the other hand. Bring the opposite hand out to the side. Palm up or down, it's your choice. And bring the leg across into the twist, going arch of the foot toward the floor this time. Still pulling gently on the strap, keeping that foot flexed as it goes. Knee as straight as it feels right for your body. And just go as deeply into the twist as you would like. Foot coming toward the floor or all the way down if it makes it. Keep this other shoulder on the floor and turn your head toward that arm behind you to complete the twist. Shoulder down for the middle back twist, head turning for the neck twist. And that foot going down, that's that lower back and hip area in the twist. Take a breath. Again, just relaxing into it as much as you need and want. And pulling gently on the strap, go ahead and roll onto your back, bringing your foot again to, toward the seat. And then releasing your strap or keeping the strap on, keep the knees straight as much as you can, lead with the heel. Use your core for support and lower the foot to the floor. As it gets all the way down, just take a moment to breathe. Exhale in tension. And then sitting bones toward your heels, pull that same leg up toward your heart. Just give it a good hug. Exhale and release. And of course, yeah, you have to balance the body and do the other side. Sitting bones toward your heels, pull the knee in toward your heart. Give it a good hug. And grabbing your strap. Put the strap around the ball of your front area, base of the toes. And again, straighten that leg up toward the ceiling. And again, wherever it goes, just let it go there. Straight up or a little more toward your head if that works. Keep the opposite leg hip down, heel pressing out, toes up, or bend that knee and pull the heel in toward your sitting bone. Take a breath. Just relax, letting that leg stretch and heel push out. And then again, bring your arm out to the side, keeping that hip down. You can also hold the hip to keep it down if that helps. Side of the leg going toward the floor as you let that leg lower out toward the side. <clears throat> again, it may stay in the air or it may go all the way down, depending on your flexibility through your hip. And body. take a breath, let it go. Keep breathing. The more you exhale, remember the more ligaments release and things relax, and your whole body adjusts further into the position when it's ready. Let it happen, never force it. Take a breath, just allowing whatever is happening to release a little bit more, relaxing into your position. And again, breathing, releasing, letting it go. And then on an inhalation, bring that foot back straight up toward the ceiling, still pulling gently on the ball of the foot area with the strap, spreading the toes. Switch your hand, other hand, out at shoulder level for our twist. And again, pulling on the ball of the foot area, let that leg lower toward the floor. It may go all the way, or it may not. Just let it do whatever it needs to do. Exhale any tension, letting the twist 
Move through your body, through your hip. Shoulder down for that middle back twist, head turning toward the arm behind you, neck area twist. And just let the hip go toward the floor as much or little as it wants and needs for you today in that hip area. Take a breath. Exhaling, releasing any tension and tightness. Allowing your twist, but never forcing. And again, if your leg is still in the air, just let it be in the air. That's okay, too. And then bringing the foot back up toward the ceiling, press the heel out and release the strap or keep it on as you use your core for support to lower that leg, heel close to the floor. When it gets all the way down, straighten things out, release your strap, bring your hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders down, and allow your toes to sink toward each other and then release into corpse position for our final relaxation. Deep breath in, exhaling. <laughs> Just let your whole body sink into that surface beneath you. Feel that hip and pelvis area and allow it to release even more, softening and sinking just gently into that surface beneath you. Allow your whole body to grow heavy as you exhale, just deepening into that earthbound connection and let your body go completely. Any tightness you feel anywhere, just release it as you exhale, letting your body relax completely. And as your body softens and sinks, just let the earth support you as she always does and allow your awareness of your body to release from your attention. And as those thoughts release, other thoughts will come to you. Know that it's the job of your mind always to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath without awareness. Thoughts flowing in and flowing out. Forgetting the past, releasing any worry of the future, just allowing the thoughts to drift without awareness, and allow your attention to focus inward, allowing that internal connection to the peace within. Fill your body with peace, fill your mind with peace. Let thoughts flow away, let your body soften, and just allow yourself moments of peace. And if you can keep relaxing even longer today, take as much time as you have. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more fully, begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely at your own pace. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and knees drawing toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels right for you today, giving yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up.
getting ready for whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining me.